They literally are that is. trying to, you know, drill a hole into the middle of Earth. And they're looking for dust. <laughs> Could you imagine going to the VC, the venture capitalists and saying, hey, we are looking for dust. We need your money. Take four years. <laughs> And we need money. <laughs> I can't imagine that pitch. Uh, and I'm going to need dust. a high salary for those That's four right. years. <laughs> yep, we are going to Antarctica. That's money to go to the, the center of the earth for the journey. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, well, we're hanging on to some uh, cold weather, even though not as chilly as it was earlier in the week. But yesterday, they didn't even make it above freezing in Logan, where it was 32. So, look, though, we hit uh, 45, and you can see on the almanac that puts us several degrees above normal for this time of year. The average low is 24, and we're hovering pretty close to that this morning, 27 currently. It's 18 in Wendover, uh, starting out in the low 20s in Moab, low 30s in well, actually, mid-30s in St. George are a little bit above freezing at 34. Fair skies across most of the state. Some clouds moving in from the west. Those become more widespread as the day progresses. Those are moving in ahead of a storm that's in the Pacific Northwest right now. That'll brush by later tonight, send a cold front through, break up the inversion, and scour out a lot of the pollution. However, with high pressure rebuilding along the coast this weekend and maintaining a northwesterly flow, it's going to stay cool and some inversions could redevelop with another increase in valley haze, even though it doesn't look like it'll get as bad as it was this week. Now today, in addition to the haze, it'll become cloudy, so it'll be looking pretty gray out there. We'll peak at 46 in Salt Lake. In general, mostly cloudy in the north, partly cloudy across southern Utah, with the temperature in St. George climbing to 58. It'll be sunny tomorrow in St. George, but we could get some gusty winds through the canyons, especially by uh, early to late afternoon. I-15 corridor between St. George and Cedar City could be one of the trouble spots with that. Otherwise, it'll be sunny mid-50s through the holiday weekend, including MLK Day on Monday. And for northern Utah, it's going to be partly cloudy tomorrow, a little cooler behind that storm with the temperature near 40. And a big improvement in air quality. A lot of the smog should get scoured out of here, even though haze could build again over the weekend. Otherwise, partly cloudy near 40 on Saturday, Sunday, as well as the holiday.